talk you through what to do, and then once we get to a stage, you can just start doing stuff once everybody understands what's happening. So, before we get into it, why don't we explain a little bit what all the pieces you have around you are. So, you have your computer set up in front of you, and you have like a red joystick looking thing in front of your lips. And you also have a speakerphone, a speaker rather, up. Uh, it's a microphone. Microphone, that's the word I'm looking for, to the right there. The blue snowball, right? Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's a white ball, but it's called the blue snowball. Right, logic. So you have the blue snowball, which you use for speaking, and we'll get to how that helps in a minute. And you have this joystick looking thing that you yeah. use with the lips. So this is called the lip sync, and it's a sip and puff, so I can blow or suck, sip or puff, and it also moves. And think of a joystick on the old uh, Nintendo games, and it works exactly the same, but if I puff, it's like a right click. If I sip, it's like a left click. Now a double puff, and I'll do this, this is a picture of my cousins, uh, now here's a picture of me. So as you know, to open a photo out of uh, Explorer, you have to double click. Double click, so I go like this. And then it asked me what to open with. I said photos is okay. And there you go. So you are uh, sipping and puffing to click left or click right or double click yeah. each as respective. But yeah. the steering of the mouse, you're doing that with your lips. Or with your... my lips. So think of it as a joystick, but I control it with my mouth. Because my hands don't move. So I can do it just like you. I'm slower. I think over time I'll get faster. I'm actually a lot faster than when I first started. But literally I can do things just like you. And it shows, uh, this looks, should just clip through all the photos that I have. So, uh, did this require a lot of setup? Is this thing easy to set up or is it pretty complicated? No, you just says plug and play, literally. The computer seems to know what it is right away. So it was the setup was literally plug it in and away you go. So with this uh, uh, lip sync, you can click and move around the mouse and do basically everything. Yeah. Um, so what can't it do? What is it? What's the limitations? Uh, that's a good question. I have a hard time dragging. So clicking and dragging, right? Yeah. So let me see if I can do this just out of interest. I'm going to. Uh, well. What I want to do is make a new folder, so I'll do that first. I wanted to do this anyways. Now I have to name it, so this is how I would name it. I'm going to turn on my voice recognition software, and I'm going to name this folder 2018 Ryan Family Calendar. So you can see that blue dot at the top of the screen there. That's my voice recognition software. It's currently it's blue, so it's asleep. Three choices, green is on, red is off, blue is asleep. So to, to start it, I have to say the magic words, and as soon as I say it, the dot will turn green. Okay, here we go. So all I'm gonna say is, wake up, 2018, Ryan family calendar mouse click go to sleep so you just you create a new folder with your sip and puff yeah. and then you turned on the microphone where you're dragging naturally speaking yeah, to spell yeah. out what you wanted and then you said left click but it didn't spell left click no I said mouse click mouse click that's right so then the uh, Dragon software, or Dragon naturally speaking as a software, knows I want to click the mouse. So I say mouse click, mouse left click, mouse double click, <coughs> and that will bring on the next thing. So it does some of the things your lip sync does. Exactly. Can you do, like, why the lip sync and Dragon naturally speaking then? Why not just one? Um, I, I have to be able to highlight a field to do things or move the mouse around the screen to pick things and doing that with Dragon does not always work. It does to an extent but not always and it's awfully frustrating. Can so you, having both really makes a difference. Can you demonstrate moving the mouse to Dragon as we're speaking so we can see why okay, like, the so, is way better? 
uh, I'll, I'll try. It's really frustrating. So wake up. Mouse grid. Four. Two. Click. Go to sleep. So I don't know if you notice, but when I say mouse grid, it splits the screen into a grid of nine, sort of like a tic-tac-toe board. And I pick a number, and that number splits into a grid of nine. And I can pick a number and go to a smaller grid and so on, till I get the mouse exactly where I want. So the problem with that is, is it takes a long time to get there. <coughs> and it's quite frustrating. <laughs> so it's much easier to uh, just move like everybody else. So, okay, so the lip sync is much easier just to steer the mouse, like, like yeah. we use a mouse instead of, you know, clicking around the left and right yeah. arrow keys to get around yeah. where we want to go. Um, how much does the lip sync cost, roughly? Do you know? Well, I got it for free. It's a group called the Neil Squire Society. They developed a thing called a <coughs> Joust and sold it to be marketed, and the, the people sold it for $1,500, which is out of the price range for almost everybody probably including me and so they came up with a new one called the lip sync which they hope to market for one hundred dollars right now they want to get people out there testing it and using it so they're giving <coughs> away like a hundred and fifty of them they had funding from google to do this and so they've really pushed it hard and to be honest it works really well so you're testing it for them effectively yeah, effectively. They're giving them out to lots and lots of people. They have build-a-thons, they call them, where uh, they put people together and they bring all the parts and they build them. The uh, red part is just a 3D printed part. You can see the little blue part on the bottom. That's They have their own mounting system, which I found didn't work at all. It was too limp, too weak. So this is called a RAM mount. <laughs> which I purchased myself and I needed that blue piece to be uh, 3D printed and uh, after a few tries I got it right and so my system is bolted to the table so I literally just roll up to it it's very stable and uh, I just come to the same position my table's all set up and that's a whole different story for me to roll in and it works really well Okay, so we talked about clicking and dragging, but we made that folder. So I know clicking and dragging is really, really hard. So can you give me a demonstration of well, what you I'm can do next? I'm going to try here. Let's see if I can do this. So I think if I hold for three, if I puff for three seconds, that locks it in. And I should be able to drag it over. Let's see if I get any luck here. There we go. That was easy. There we got it. It doesn't always work that well. <laughs> but when it counts, it matters. Yeah, I'm just going to delete this folder here. So uh, to right click, I sipped, and then I move the mouse to delete, and it's gone. It's a bit slower than what you guys do, but I'm actually uh, a lot better than it used to be. My mouse has wandered on my screen here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to reset it. So I have to puff for five seconds, and you'll see the light on top bleep beep and that will reset it. It just resets the mouse to a, a null a zero. So is that just because uh, for whatever reason the joystick gets stuck in a little slightly off center yeah, position? somehow it does and then... i do one last demo to yeah. show how both your lip sync and okay. your Dragon Naturally Speaking work together. Yeah. So why don't you send me an email and attach one picture of you from that folder there. Okay. So here we go. So I have to do a bit of both here. And the easiest way is to go like this. Wake up. Switch to Microsoft Outlook. Go to sleep. So I can switch by voice different, uh, different programs. Open and close programs. I use Google Chrome a lot, mostly because I'm used to it. But, uh, Dragon speaking is really set up well for Microsoft Office, so I do use all the Microsoft programs, and they work really well. 
Excel is a learning experience, but I am getting quite good at it. And then uh, I use a lot of uh, Facebook and Messenger. Uh, works fair to middling. That's why I use the mouse, so like you, I can whip through stuff. So anyways, here we go. I'm going to send Daniel a, an email, so wake up, click new email, Daniel, press enter, move to subject field, this is how I send an email, exclamation mark, tab. When I send an email, I have to speak in three or four word pieces period that way dragon does not fall too far behind period the program is a memory hog and my computer is two to three years old and has trouble keeping up period I have eight gigabytes of RAM but really need 16 to make Dragon work properly, period. With more memory, I can talk faster and do more, period. But it's all depends on cost, etc. New paragraph. When I talk, it is like talking as a typewriter, period you have to add all the punctuation in yourself period so think about when you would type you would have to do the punctuation yourself period it's funny sometimes when i leave a voicemail i say comma period and new paragraph all the time period you see, when I say those words, you get exactly what I say, period. Sometimes it's pretty funny, period. Now I will add a photo, period. Click attach file. Click browse this PC. Go to sleep. And now this is where I will use the mouse, the lip sync, because it's much faster. So I'll go to desktop. <coughs> Wake up. And that's how it works, period. So a combination of mouse and mouth and voice, period. New paragraph, and this is my life, exclamation mark, happy face, period. Click send. Go to sleep. And that's how you basically use a computer, is it correct? Like that's it. That's my life. I can do my finances. I can do uh, internet. I do lots of internet stuff. Uh, filling out forms, there's a pain. Uh, what's really a pain is passwords because you have to do all the special characters. So sometimes uh, to do passwords, I will... I have... Uh, my screen is a touch screen. I can't touch it, but uh, a lot of times I'll switch to tablet mode because my computer can run like a tablet. And then I can bring up a keyboard and this is the only way I can type. So that's the only way you can easily type complicated things with yeah. passwords which are characters yeah. as well as like special characters so letters and characters that's how i do it
So we didn't talk about it today, but you have a lot of screens on your wheelchair as well. I see an iPhone, a remote looking thing, as well as uh, some other control panel that looks to control your wheelchair. So we haven't we didn't talk about that today. We don't have time for that today, but maybe in a future video we'll talk about how you can use an iPhone and everything else attached to your wheelchair. Exactly, yeah. Uh, everything is connected. Uh, I run my chair through my head array, and that's a whole different video. And I can run my iPhone through my head array. The screen with all the numbers is my remote control for TV, lights, and my front door. And the other consoles just tells me what mode my chair is in. I have several different modes for several different items. So I can whip through all that. And, and that's, uh, oh, and the white thing is my cup holder. It holds coffee, water, Coke, beer, wine. Uh, the most important part of my chair. Sorry, my head doesn't turn that much, so I can't really look at you. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for showing us how that all works, Dad, and hopefully uh, we'll get another video up soon. Yeah, thank you. We'll see you again soon.